Hello there. What's the difference between a random dude on the street yelling and screaming obscenities at people because of the color of their skin and somebody who's on a co-governance tour? Hmm, I'll give you a clue. It's the same thing that makes the difference between whether or not somebody is crazy or whether or not they're just a little bit eccentric. That's right, it's money. I'd like to introduce you to Julian Batchelor, who you might have seen or heard a little bit of lately during his co-governance roadshow that he is touring around the Mutu at the moment, where he has really racist fucking ideas. Julian has had a storied career. He was a teacher for a very short time, including a principal of a school. He claims to have been an investigative journalist. His social media platforms list him as a real estate agent for some reason. He runs a wedding venue. See where this is going? There's all sorts of things going there. But this is probably the most important thing to note about him. He considers himself a messenger from God. God spoke to him about evangelism and gave him 67 points that need to be taken care of when it comes to spreading evangelism and the word of God. And the reason that we don't is because of Satan. And um, if you're wondering where this comes from, this is his write-up about himself on the Amazon listing for this particular book. In these seminars, he's calling things like the Treaty of Waitangi a scam. And he says things like Māori MPs, Māori seats and electorates, anything to do with co-governance is a scam to steal your stuff. What he's done is he's taken his fire and brimstone evangelism from when he used to run a church on a beach and he's turned that into that kind of racist tirade that gets people money these days. Now if you do want to go to one of his seminars when they pop up in your local neighbourhood, feel free. This kind of person speaking this kind of rhetoric is racist as fuck. And let's face facts, he's using the skills he got as a teacher, as an evangelist, as a person who ran a church, to make a profit. Not to be a prophet. I somehow doubt God spoke to him and said, we've got to get evangelism going again. Let's roll that out. Now here's the final kicker for you. He is quite clearly not all there in the head. Not many people are who claim to have spoken directly with God. But his views and what he is doing is still being platformed by not quite mainstream media like the platform or the New Zealand Centre for Political Research, which is a alt-right wing think tank pretending to be a policy platform. And that's where the dangerous part is.